Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Summer and I'm a waxaholic and today I've got another haul to share with you guys. So I got my pre-order in from Waxy Taffy. So I placed this order on October 14th and I received it two months later on December 12th, which I'm pretty sure was well within her tap and that's great. This is my first pre-order from her shop. I have one other RTS haul on my channel. Loved everything I got so I wanted to participate in the pre-order. Waxy Taffy is out of Phoenix, Arizona and I want to say I first heard of them from Katherine King. I watched a haul on her channel and immediately ran to order and I've been pleased with everything and so I'm so excited to share what I got with you. So if you want to see what I picked up in the Waxy Taffy pre-order, grab a snack, grab a drink, grab a blanket, and please just keep on watching. Okay, you guys, so excited to get into this order. I haven't smelled anything. I just took it out of the packaging. It was packaged really well. And first thing I see here is this business card, which is so cute. And here's what the back looks like. As always, I will link Waxy Taffy's website along with their Facebook group in my description box down below. It also comes with an invoice, which I won't share because it's got my personal info on there. But I always love getting an invoice to just, you know, see exactly what I ordered. And then it came with three samples, which was so generous. The first one here is in Cozy Cashmere. Fresh autumn sage blends with creamy cashmere and sweet vanilla almond milk. Sounds really pretty. It's quite a generous size as well. I was worried about the sage, but it's actually pretty mild. It's not like super sharp. Or maybe it's just blended really well with the creamy cashmere. And then sweet vanilla almond milk is very creamy. And so it maybe cuts down on that sharp like herbal tone. This is definitely different for me, but it's really pretty. It's herbal from the sage, but it's not sharp. It's very creamy, cozy, milky. I will for sure try this. That again is cozy cashmere. Next up is Lucky Charmed, our take on the classic cereal filled with rainbow marshmallows and pink milk. That is super small. Hopefully it's not blurry. Yeah, it's definitely a sugar milk with like marshmallows. I get, I don't get a whole ton of the cereal per se. I just get the, it's basically like a really sugary milk which is really nice. I'm actually kind of over cereal scents, like the Fruity Pebbles, Fruit Loops ones, because those are like really heavy citrus, but I don't really mind this one. It's kind of giving me milk and cookies vibes. Really pretty. That is Lucky Charmed. And then the last sample is Black Cherry Toasted Chai. Sweet black cherry mingles with hot buttery cider and the warmth of chai spices topped with toasted marshmallow foam. That sounds incredible. The sweet and spicy combo, which I love. Oops, made a little bit of a mess. Oh my gosh, that is so good. Really, I'm holding it weird because it's like coming apart on the top a little bit. That black cherry note is bomb. It's not medicinal at all. It's just like a subtle sweet dark berry get a little bit of chai a little bit of spice but not too much and that toasted marshmallow foam you can really smell this is beautiful i would definitely pick this up in a bigger size i love that it's such a unique blend that i've never really seen any other vendors offer again that is black cherry toasted chai love that okay Let's get into what I ordered. So first up is Mrs. Claus's Cotton Candy Cookie Bread. How cute is that label? And her wax looks like saltwater taffy. Like, it looks just like it. This is Mrs. Claus Cookies, Cotton Candy Frosting, and Sweet Zucchini Bread. 
don't really know the notes of Mrs. Claus's cookies, but this is really good. I really get that cotton candy frosting. Her zucchini bread is the sweet, savory kind. I don't get corn chips at all. Gorgeous. Oh, that's so good. Is Mrs. Claus cookies just sugar cookies or is it like a milk and cookies? I can't really tell, but this blend is really nice. It's just bakery with cotton candy frosting and then a sweet zucchini bread. Love that. Can't wait to warm it. Mrs. Claus's cotton candy cookie bread. Next up, I got three bags of sugared almond macaron because I'm a crazy person. This is actually a sample in my first Waxy Taffy order, and I was obsessed with it. So I saw she brought it to the pre-order, so I had to pick it up. I loved it. So I got three bags because it's just what I do. The notes say, step right into a charming Parisian patisserie with this delicious gourmand scent. Ground almonds, creamy amaretto, rich vanilla macaron, and sugar crystals with a dash of cinnamon, nutmeg, and lemon zest. Y'all, this is just amazing. It's a nutty, a sweet nutty bakery. It says a dash of cinnamon, nutmeg, and lemon zest. I don't really get that. I feel like it's just blended into the bakery note just a sweet almond cookie it's perfection it smells incredible and I'm so glad she included that as a sample if she hadn't I probably still would have picked this up just because of the scent notes but since she included it as a sample and I did try it and I did warm it I knew I loved it so I got three bags and then the last of this size bag I got she's a dreamer which was kind of a wild card for me Rose quartz, sweet raspberry, lychee, sheer musk, and soft lavender bedtime bath. I don't really know what lychee smells like in wax, and I don't know what rose quartz is, but I think she said this was one of their favorites or well-loved scent or something, so I just picked it up because I do love raspberry and I do love lavender. It's very powdery. It does smell like a bedtime bath or like a bedtime lotion. It's like lavender baby lotion. But that is really pretty. I'm glad I picked it up. It'll be a good nighttime blend and even like in my kids' room. So that is She's a Dreamer. Then I got four of the like Big Mama Bakery bags. Don't know what she calls them. But the first one is It's a Situation. Funfetti cake, cannolis, iced sugar cookies, and fresh baked bread. I think this was a really popular one in her shop as well. Yeah, this is just a really nice, like, vanilla-based bakery. Definitely get the cake and the cookies. I'm not really getting a ton of the fresh baked bread. But I'm sure these are probably really recent pours, so I'm hoping that that bread note comes out more on warm, but that is really nice. That is called It's a Situation. Next up, I picked up Honey Almond Lavender Cookies. Sweet Lavender Honey Almond Sugar Cookies. Say less. That sounds so good. I love honey and wax, with almond especially. Oh, that is gorgeous. It's like a sweet lavender bakery because you do get the sugar cookies. Oh my gosh, that is gorgeous. And to me, it reminds me of lavender cream puffs very much. That is gorgeous. So glad I picked that up. I just love lavender. I can't get enough of it. Next, along those same lines, I kind of want to smell these side by side. This is Shadow of the Day, which I got in my first order, and I loved it. I felt like it was almost spot on to Lavender Cream Puffs. They were very similar. And this is Sweet Lavender, Creamy Coconut, and Iced Vanilla Wafers. So I picked up a huge bag of this one because I loved it so much. So I'm going to reopen Honey Almond Lavender Cookies and smell them side by side.
Yeah. I feel like the coconut kind of tones this lavender down a little bit. So it's more of a milder where the honey sweetens it even more so. So it's very sweet. And the shadow of the day is not as sweet. Yeah. But they're very similar. The coconut really smooths this one out a little bit. Yeah, it's the same except for that like little bitty hint of coconut and then the extra sweetness from the honey. They are definitely similar, but I'm glad to have them both. Look forward to warming those. And then the last thing I picked up is pistachio marshmallow pie. Pistachio pudding pie topped with fluffy marshmallows. Had to get a pistachio. These are so fun, like little taffy. Oh, that's really good. It's just a creamy, a very creamy pistachio, almost like a pistachio ice cream. Yeah, there's nothing else. It's just pistachio pudding and marshmallows. Oh, that's really good. My mom makes this like dessert type dish and it's got pistachio pudding in it with like lots of fruits and marshmallows. And that's what this is reminding me of. And she makes it at Christmas. So you guys know I love when scents evoke scent memories. And that's what this takes me to is her pistachio pudding. So that is really good. I'm really happy with everything I picked up. Please let me know down below if you participated in this pre-order from Waxy Taffy. Let me know if you've ever ordered from Waxy Taffy because until Catherine's video, I had never even heard of this vendor and I think they've been around for quite a while. Their wax is really great and I'm so excited to warm these. So as always, thank you guys so very much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day, week, or weekend. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and I'll see you all on my next video very soon. Bye.